Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing you guys some love. We're gonna talk about some super sexy feminine fragrances that I think are amazing for the winter. A lot of these fragrances are designer and some that I haven't talked about in like years, you guys. You have not seen these fragrances on my channel in years if you have been following me for a couple of years. Um, you probably know a lot of these fragrances. Like I said, a lot are designer, super affordable, but y'all, these are floral fragrances with a little bit of a sweet edge. You know, when you come over here to this channel, I like it sweet, okay? Um, not all the way sweet, all the time. I do love dry, oody, leathery, all of that with a little bit of sweetness. But y'all, I got a sweet tooth and I just love sweet fragrances. So anyway, some of these are sweeter on the sweeter side. They are not uh, gourmand leaning. Maybe one or two are gourmand leaning, but for, for the most part, um, they just all carry like a really hefty dose of vanilla, which may be amazing, but you still get, get that feminine floral for that winter as well on top of a slight sweetness. So please continue to watch, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells, all that good stuff, and follow me over on Instagram. So, y'all, the very first one we're going to talk about, we won't talk about too many notes because I don't want to make this video super long because my last four videos have been like 30, 40 minutes long, you guys. Um, I'm so sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Um, anyway, the very first one we're going to talk about, and I do keep this sitting in this little bitty thing, is uh, La Belle Le Parfum. You guys, I haven't worn this fragrance in about three years. It's been a long time, but I am pulling this baby out for the month of December, um, and I'm going to put her on my fragrance tray for the month of December. So you guys know I do a, well, you guys don't know, but I do a month fragrance tray, no longer a week, because I got tired of switching that stuff out. So anyway... I just sprayed it on my hand just to remind me, you know, of what is going on in this fragrance. But I love her. Um, so anyway, there's pear, there's vanilla, there's tonka bean in here. Um, and there's also jasmine, of course. Of course we smell jasmine. But it's beautiful. It gives that vanillic sweetness. You definitely get a lot of tonka bean in this fragrance, that, that's for sure. Um, it also gives it a little bit of a, the tonka bean is not abrasive to me, but it just gives it a graininess about this fragrance or a dryness about this fragrance. You know, as if you're taking like a, a dry powder and you're like, you know, I'm squeezing it between your fingers and you get that, that irking feel, you know, um, that's what tonka bean gives me. So anyway, I love it. It's powdery. Um, it's slightly sweet. The fruitiness from that pear is absolutely amazing. But vanilla pear, very soft and powdery, not baby powder, okay? Uh, but just very elegant, sophisticated, powdery scent. I like a powdery pear, a sugary powder dusted, dusted pear. But anyway, I love it. I love this La Belle Le Parfum and moving right along. So the next one we're gonna talk about is one, some of the C's, the Armani fragrances that I don't talk about. So we're gonna talk about two. Um, and I think I may name this video a top 10 because I think I have like 10 or 11, but we just gonna say 10, okay? Because two of these are from the same house. So anyway, this is C Passion. Uh, no, C Fiore, okay? Um, this is C Fiore. I bought this years ago and I get so many compliments on this fragrance and I have not worn it and, um, it's either full or it's dried out. One of the two. Um, anyway, I think it's full, y'all. <laughs> So anyway, I've worn it a couple times and I absolutely love it. Now in um, C, I thought I wrote this down. Um, I think there's black currant. In, I know there's black currant in all of the C fragrances. There's a lot of vanilla. There's some woodiness. I think there's some cedar. There's a little bit of neroli to brighten this fragrance up. And I think there's a floral in here as well. Orange blossom, you know. But neroli, orange blossom, vanilla, and some cedar. It's really beautiful, powdery, sweet. It almost smells pink when you spray it out of the bottle. But I love this. It's soft. It's very feminine. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. This is one of those pretty girl fragrances um, that you want to wear probably like on a date night. All right. So its counterpart um, is C Passion. I don't think this the C Passion Intense. Um, this one kind of gives that same black currant vibe, but it is also giving like a lot of juicy black currant. There's some rose in here. Woody, this gives more patchouli for sure. So just imagine juicy black currant patchouli um, to give it a little bit of earthiness to cut that sweetness of the black currant. 
and you get some vanilla as well, some rose. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love all of these sea fragrances. Um, the line is amazing. I have the Sea Passion Intense, I think the Sea Eclat or whatever. I'm still working on that one, but it is still in my collection. It is an okay for, it wasn't okay for me then, but I'm gonna go back and revisit it. I did test it a couple months ago when I was like organizing my collection um, and it did get a little heavier. So maybe I will wear that fragrance this week and, and just to see how it performs to see if I really love it or if it should be in a declutter. But anyway, these two y'all, don't know where you can find them, but they're amazing. They said this was discontinued, but I see it all over the place on the gray market site. So get your nose on them. Um, like I said, you gotta like a little more patchouli for this one, this one not so much. So the next one we're gonna talk about is Narciso. This is Narciso Rouge. Um, I love the fragrance house of Narciso Rodriguez. So in this fragrance, you got some white florals, orange blossom, tuberose. You get sweet powderiness. It's absolutely, it, this almost smells iris. I think there's iris in here. It smells irisy, you know, that powdery yet creamy, sweet, uh, dusty iris, not too lipsticky on top of that orange blossom and those white florals. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit of um, woodiness to it as well. Y'all, this is gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites and I will always have this one in my collection. Someone said that they were getting rid of the cubes. I'm not really sure, but I posted uh, Narciso, Rodriguez's Narciso, which is the heavy gardenia. It's like a woody gardenia, warm, spicy scent over on Instagram. And they said it was discontinued. So y'all, I love that fragrance. If you love Gardena, then you need to try to find that fragrance, okay? Anyway, this one's stunning as well. It will hold up to the cold weather um, because of that iris and those white florals in there and the woodiness, the cedar. I love this fragrance, Narciso Rouge. Another baby that I just caught this year was Valentino. This is Donna, born in Roma, intense, y'all. So anyway, this is a beautiful jasmine and bourbon vanilla scent. There's some, I'm getting like a slight creamy, more of a creamy sweet scent, you know, a creamy jasmine in here. Smells like there's some mandarin in here as well, possibly, you know just to brighten it up, but literally a creamy jasmine and bourbon vanilla. It's a beautiful scent. I love this. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Initially when I bought this, I mean, not when I bought it, when I smelled this, I was like, it's a no. Uh, but then I smelled it around smelling of a whole bunch of other fragrances. But then I went back to smell this because I do love the note of jasmine. Jasmine to me is one of the sexiest on top of iris. Jasmine is one of the, is the sexiest uh, white floral to me. All the other ones like the tuberose and, you know, orange blossom and, uh, several other ones are really pretty and, and very feminine and just bright. But jasmine, y'all, is sexy. Even the Andala jasmine is sexy. So anyway, a beautiful jasmine and van uh, bourbon vanilla. It's gorgeous. Get your nose on this. Not a safe blind buy. So. All right, so the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Passe Soir. And y'all, this fragrance is a beast, okay? Um, I smelled this on Joe. Yes, Joe wore this, an average Joe, over at uh, Santix Floor. We went out to dinner my first night there. And I was like, what do you have on Joe? You smell so good. I was like, I know the smell. I know the smell. But I wouldn't think that Joe would have on Passe Soir. You know, fragrances are for everybody, okay? I'm, I was just being a little simple-minded that night. Um, anyway, uh, Joe had on Passe Soir X-Ray. Y'all, and he smelled amazing. The Ambroxan in here makes everything so fresh. Makes that cacao fresh. Um, it makes the pear fresh, the orange blossom, the quince, like all of it with the woodiness. Um, it is slight gourmand. It makes that patchouli fresh as well, you all. Um, anyway, this, I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is good. You can wear this 365 days a year, but I would say to be on the safe side, wear this in the fall, winter, and the cooler months. This is absolutely amazing. Get your nose on it. It's fruity. 
uh, slightly patchouli because I love the note of patchouli. Patchouli fresh, fruity. It's very fruity from the pear and the quince, you guys. Um, anyway, I don't get the cacao very much. It just, it's light and dusty um, in this fragrance, but slightly, slightly um, gourmand leaning because of the sweetness of this fragrance, but the ambroxan brightens everything up. Get your nose on this one. Passe Soie Extraits. I love the original too, and the original performs like very well on me. All right, so the next one is one that I haven't spoken about in a long time, y'all. If you think you know what this is, let me know down in the comments, okay? <laughs> y'all, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and you got to like powdery scents to love this fragrance. Um, y'all know that I don't like powdery, like baby powder scents. But this one right here, because it's almost like a marzipan, like a nutty powdery scent uh, with some rose and some lemon and some like dusty chocolate, like chocolate powder, you guys. This is African Queen by the House of Doucette. This is amazing for the fall and the winter, y'all. If you know me, then you know that I love African Queen. Um, this is definitely gourmand lenny because of that cacao and the nuttiness and the almond. Y'all, this scent is amazing. That lemon in there, that brightens it up and it gives it a little bit of a citrus freshness on top of that really red, decadent, rich rose, y'all. Mm, this is so good. Like I said, I fell in love with Juset when I bought my first purchase many moons ago, African Queen. And then, y'all, it was a whole rabbit hole from then on. Um, anyway, I love this stuff. Get your nose on it. It's gorgeous. Everybody at Glamcation fell in love with this fragrance as well. And African Queen, like, flew off of Rico's table, okay? Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is a white floral vanilla. We've all been talking about it for the past year, I think, or since, I think it came out this year. Um, and this is Black Opium Le Parfum, a really rich, it still gives me a heady floral, uh, but that vanilla, that creamy vanilla in here, it just kind of softens it up a little bit. But I get that endolic um, white floral in this, or heady white floral in this fragrance. But the vanilla is the star of the show, y'all. And it kind of tames those florals in this fragrance and the patchouli and everything else, you guys. Anyway, get your nose on this. If you are going to love a black opium, this will probably be, probably be the one. And y'all, there's another black opium coming out. Ah, who's gonna buy it? Who's gonna buy it? Um, yeah, I literally am talking to myself, okay? Uh, I think us YouTubers are good actors. <laughs> because, like, I really feel like I'm talking to people, okay? Like I said, it's almost a psychosis, okay? Um, they gonna come out with a psychosis for us influencers soon, right? <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, this Black Opium Lay Parfum, White Florals, really rich vanilla. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I love it. I do love it. <laughs> Y'all, this is hilarious. I really, literally, I am having a conversation with you in real time, okay? Not when you watch it in real time. Um, anyway, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. I do love Love Don't Be Shy, but I love the extreme better. Literally smells like orange blossom marshmallows. Um, I think there's some other ones in here, but it smells like Love Don't Be Shy with added rose, okay? Um, it's brighter. It's giving more freshness. It doesn't give that um, that annoying neroli note sometimes that Love Don't Be Shy gives. Um, I spray Love Don't Be Shy, the OG, in the opening. Um, and then in the opening, I have to wait until it dries down for me to absolutely love the fragrance. I do really like it in the opening for about 30 minutes, but maybe an hour into it, that is when I start to really love Love Don't Be Shy uh, because that Neroli kind of bothers me. It clashes or something with the other notes in the fragrance, but I still love it at the same time, y'all. Go figure. So anyway, this one right here with that added jammy rose, it just, it makes it gorgeous. It makes it stunning. It makes it sophisticated. So yes, I do do love the extreme and I haven't talked about this fragrances fragrance and God knows how long it's probably been about three years since I've mentioned this fragrance on my channel but I still love it and um yeah it's not denting very much but it's a gorgeous fragrance and I'm pulling it out for the fall uh because I do that sticky sweetness in here that orange blossom marshmallowy you know scent or whipped creamy scent or whatever it is um it's it helps it it holds it for those cold, uh, for that cold weather. So um, next we have is sorry, 
this baby right here, Flower Bomb Nectar. Gun metal, okay, sugary sweetness. This is sweet, okay? So in Flower Bomb Nectar, you have your orange blossom, bergamot. Um, there's some cassis in here. There's a lot of vanilla, but there's a lot of orange blossom. There's no honeysuckle in this fragrance, um, like the OG orange blossom, and there's no tea note in here as well. So anyway, you definitely get those citruses in this fragrance. You get that orange blossom. It's fresh. It's juicy, but it's thick still uh, because of that gunmetal note or gunpowder note inside. Now, initially when I wore this fragrance or I tested it, I was like, nah, but then I wore it one day. I think I sprayed it on myself at the mall and then I wore it and I was like, you know what? I think it is time. I am loving this, you know? I still get that metallic gunpowder note slightly, but it's not bothering me at all. Um, there was another fragrance by Jewel at Mad um, that I wanna revisit that had the same, I think, gunpowder note in it as well. Um, it's not Stilettos on Lex, even though I want Stilettos on Lex. It's one that Emmy absolutely loves. Um, and she says it's opulent, okay? Um, anyway, this is Flower Bomb Nectar. Love this. And I'm actually loving, I even love Tom Ford's Metalique. And that one gives me a slight metallic -y scent as well. Um, so this one, you get that. But all those florals and then that juiciness and the slight greenness of the cassis outweighs. Um, and it's in the only in the opening, pretty much. It almost gives it like a honeyed uh, metallic floral uh, sweetness from the floral. So anyway, get your nose on this Flower Bomb Nectar. I love this stuff. And that is it. I was gonna say, I love it more than the original Flower Bomb, but I love the original Flower Bomb, neck, um, the original uh, Ruby, I think it's Ruby Orchid, Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. And then I like Flower Bomb, and then this baby right here. All right, so uh, while I was over in New York, I got a chance to smell Fev Gourmand, which is supposed to be the new Gourmand Coquine. So uh, yeah, Gourmand Coquine. So you all know that they put a spin on it or something. It's supposed to be slightly different or a little heavier. Well, um, I heard my girl Aisha um, speak about this fragrance and I wanted to speak about it as well because I don't want y'all to go out and spend your coins for nothing, okay? So I have the OG. Um, I've had it for years on years. And then I also have the B bottle because I wanted a backup because I didn't want this. I heard many years ago um, that this was being discontinued. So my girl Farida, she ended up ordering about a year or so ago the B bottle for me from Brussels, I think it was. And it came with a lot of other uh, lovely things and it comes with like a smaller bottle as well, a spray bottle. So y'all, literally, I like these more. Um, I don't know if it's because my juice has been sitting and they're more concentrated, uh, but the rose, the rum, the cacao, in here. I think there's like some tonka bean or sandalwood in here as well. Literally, I smelled and I sprayed it multiple times. I spent about five minutes with the fragrance. I've worn this fragrance a lot, so I kind of know. Um, I also had like a 10 ml decant that I went through before I actually purchased this one from, um, uh, is it D girl on? I want to say Dior. Um, so I know what this fragrance smells like. And when I smell that one, I didn't get that red rose. It wasn't as boozy, um, but I did get more cacao. Um, I got more of a tonka. It was more of a gourmandish leaning fragrance than a boozy gourmand rose. Um, I wanted to buy it because I was like, oh, if it's better than these two right here, maybe I'll sell this one. I'll always keep this one. But yo, I am loving these more. Um, these two smell like the same. So maybe you can order it from Brussels if they still have the, I don't know how to order it, um, y'all, but I think Sharita has it on her page or my girl Farida, um, Yellow Sense over on you, over on Instagram. She, you can DM her. You can ask her where to order it because I don't know. Okay. She ordered this for me. I just, handed over the coins, okay? Or Jessie, um, Jessica, she actually, I think, ordered, placed an order for this as well, um, too, and she knows about this fragrance. So Jessica Trim, okay? Go follow her over on Instagram and here on YouTube as well. So to me, you guys, these are better than the actual, um, than the new Fev Gourmand, which is the reversion of the Fev, not Fev Delicious, uh, Gourmand Coquin, Gourmand Coquin, Elixir Charnel. It's like a long name, 
Gourmand, Coquine, Elixir, Charnel. So anyway, you guys, go on to the world, spread amazing, see y'all, do good, be good, all of that, and get your nose on some of these delicious winter florals with a slight sweetness. All right, bye-bye, love you all.